What's up everybody, this is Mitchell. I had to get on here and make a tutorial because I hit a thousand views on my Logic Pro 9 tutorial basics video. That is exciting. I never thought that um, that many people would be watching these. Honestly, I was just going to start making these for a friend so that he could slowly get into Logic, but hey, if you guys like it also, that's cool with me. Uh, let's um, do... Let's have some fun today. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, use side chaining um, with your bass drum and a, I guess, a synth, you could say. And what this is used for is in more of your trance and house music. Um, it's a very fun, um, easy technique, and it makes your um, makes your song sound incredible. Incredible. All right, let's do this. So I opened up a new project here, like a, a boss, and I am going to get Ultra Beat up. And since um, this music is made in trance, um, I'm going to do a trance kit just because, you know, I can. So I'm going to get just my kick. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into. Um, making a, a trance song by any means. So I'm just going to um, give the give you the kick, which will sound like which will sound like that. Hooray. And then I'm gonna make another um, I'm gonna make another track. And this one is gonna be for my bass, my synth, that crunchy synth that is going to be compressed every single time that my trance kick hits. So uh, I'm just gonna go in here right no do ES1 not the ESP come on Mitch come on alright and then simply the holy balls let's use that one alright take these both down a bit Sure. Alright, and then what I'm going to do, escape to, I'm going to create a new little file track, whatever you want to call it down here. And I'm going to open it up, escape to again in here, and I'm going to, that's pretty low. I'll do that one. Send it out for the whole time, like so. And check it out. Ha! Huh. Nothing. As you would expect, it's your kick and that synth. Just playing through four on the floor on the kick. Like a boss, I have a hair in my keyboard and it's pissing me off. All right. Sweet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the whole side chaining bit. And to do this, what we're going to want to do is send um, a bus signal um, on our trance track, or yeah, our trance track, or kick right here. All right, and to do that, there's a little sends button down here. Hold it down, and I would select bus one. Um, and then this little knob right here, this is how much is being sent, um, how much of the signal is being sent. And for um, the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to turn it up all the way, although in f the future you might want to um, turn it down just a bit. So all the way up to plus six. And so this signal is being sent into this bus before it is being outputted um, to the final um, output. And as you can see, our trans kit is being sent to this auxiliary one, and this auxiliary one is going to the stereo out. Bows. All right. Um, then what we're going to want to do on the ES1 synth that we um, grabbed from a previous or a, uh, a setting, you're going to want to com add a compressor. All right. And now the basic idea here is to every single time that kick hits, you want this synth to be compressed. And since we sent that uh, signal to a bus track, we can come up here to sidechain, 
and select bus one. Now this compression is listening to that uh, kick drum. And what we will do every single time is when that kick hits, it will compress our synth. And that is exactly what we want to do. And now um, it's just a simple task of editing this compression to make it sound um, legit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So let's do it. Um, I'm going to shut up here and I'm going to do some work. So here you go. Alright, there you go. Um, some key points to what I just did. Um, attack and release, I want to keep very low. Okay, Ratio, um, that's going to give us the uh, um, that effect of just like um, that, that um, just like that womp after um, the, uh, the kick drum every time. So you're going to want that ratio um, um, to about mid or high range. So uh, there you are. Um, that is probably going to be the most important part. Um, I've tested most, actually, I've tested every single one of these circuit types. And for me, I personally like platinum. Um, I've seen some people use this uh, second one down here, this class AR one. Um, that's not too bad either. But if you want to just make it simple on yourself, platinum's the way to go. Um, and then what I did was I adjusted this compressor, thre um, compressor threshold um, to get the perfect amount of compression um, on my track. And as you, you can see, you can edit um, how much is being, you can see, I guess you could say, how much is being compressed by this bar up here when you play it. And then finally I chose peak here instead of RMS just just because it sounds better. I have no reason why. No. So, um, platinum circuit type, high, or sorry, low attack and low release, mid to high ratio. I like to have a soft knee or a high knee. So, um, you can also mess with that if you'd like. Um, mid to low compressor threshold and peak instead of RMS on that threshold. So, there you are, guys. That is basically. Uh, how to do it simple it is very simple and if you um, are making trance music which um, if you're watching this tutorial I sure hope you are um, the tempo is going to be pretty quick anywhere between I'd say 125 130 to 150 at the 150 range it's getting pretty fast um, so I, I keep it about mid-range. I have it here at 135, I believe. I thought I did. Yeah, 135. And as you can see, this tempo is pretty good. Mm. Ballin', son. So just going to do... Oh, you mother. I, I, if I could edit this, it'd be nice. Alright. There you are, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit here. Um, everyone, thank you for all the views, all the great comments. Um, as usual, please rate and subscribe. I am going to be heading out to college here in a matter of probably week and a half now I think it is. So once that hits, I'm going to be I'm going to stop working 55 hours a week and I'm going to start working little to none. So I will have so much more time to be doing this fun stuff. Um and I also have some crazy awesome new ideas for some videos. Um wouldn't say they are tutorials, but um, stay tuned for those. Um, I believe I said this earlier, but rate, subscribe, comment, 
if you have any questions or anything, I don't care. I really like getting those emails that say, so-and-so commented on your video. So, I want some more of those, please. Anyway, peace out, guys.